flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's move. I am the Royal Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucker responsibilities. And in this motherfucker video right here, we're going to be talking about how to find your original purpose and your excitement and how you got lost somewhere down the line inside of a form of how to attain these things but got misguided and misdirected off your motherfucking path. Now, here's the thing. Finding your original purpose and your form of excitement within this energy field, within that motherfucking space, within that realm of reality, you are able to obtain the original thought and feeling what made you excited in the first place for you to get led in whatever direction that you got led in. So, this takes you into understanding your original purpose or what led you to do something or what wake you up out of the bed every morning to make you feel excited about life, but somewhere down the line you have lost that feeling and thought. Now look, check this out, right? Here's the thing. A lot of times it's talking about a certain space. So as a spirit, you need to know that's a space. And a space is no thing, no shape and form. So a space, nothing is in it. It's just an area, a parameter. You know what I'm saying? And you can create a spectrum within that parameter. Now, here's the thing. Or parameter, however the fuck you want to see it. Now, here's the motherfucking thing, right? Sometimes when you was trying to obtain a vision, you went through many different loops, many different spaces. And within these spaces have fields already, fields of reality. And when you start to interact with those frequency vibrations, it starts to make you think either you're taking a shortcut, monetary gain, or this is the know-how or the way to go about something. And when you start to take that mission, it takes you off your original mission. And your mission, and your mission is involving what? Thoughts and feelings. Which also involve never fails. Never motherfucking fails. Which also involves your spaceship, your ability to go in that certain direction. So for the most part, once you do so many of these things, you lose the space you was in, which develops the awareness and the thoughts and feelings within that space. And therefore you, you lose the excitement for whatever goal that you was actually trying to reach. So here's what you can do. A lot of times you need to go back to memories that had you excited about something. Rather, it's involving a person, place, or thing. And within these experiences, within these memories, throw away the person, place, and the thing and start to obtain or try to remember what mind state you was in. What mentality was you in? What thoughts and feelings you was referencing yourself to as a spirit to create as a spaceship? Because those things, those very metaphysics, is what manifested and condensed in itself as light to manifest as a circumstance, situation, or an experience, aka a stargate that you walk through via person, place, or thing that's in it to show as a representation, externalize of what you just represented and manifested in your life. So for the most part, check this out. A lot of times there's certain thoughts and feelings that you was in that created a mind state that led your body to do certain things with your voice, hands, and, and your intelligence to attract certain things that led you to have that excited form. And once you was excited, within that form, back to supported by your purpose, because your purpose is always gonna make you excited. And some people have catastrophic purposes, so they purpose look dangerous to other individuals, but to them, they look excited to do it. So a purpose is always gonna have you excited. And if somewhere down the line you have lost that, nine times out of 10, you have misplaced your path and was misguided and you no longer involve yourself into the ritual practices that place your spirit in that space to remain there. And you know, anything we do with our body and what we pay attention to is a ritual and spell. So somewhere down the line, you may have separated yourself from a specific person, place or thing in order to try other things to obtain a goal. And those other things wasn't the right percentage level for you to reach that goal because your excitement form that made that goal started from a specific person, place, or thing, or group of people, places, and things. And somewhere down the line, when you uninvolved yourself with those things, those things built excitement. So those things was where the purpose was developed from. But once you developed that purpose from those excitement forms, you separated from those excitement forms and still try to go for your purpose. But when you went for your purpose, you're in a different space to obtain your purpose. So within that space, depending on what purpose it is, right? I mean, depending on what space it is, 
right? That's how you're going to obtain your purpose. And if it's in a flunked out space that don't have a lot of percentage level of the previous people, places, and things that put you in a certain space, the previous rituals and practices that you was placing yourself in, then you have became miscomplacent and forgot what made you excited in the first place to create that purpose. See what I'm saying? Now, if you put yourself into a different space, right, but in some way, shape, or form, you're creating new excitements and, and new thoughts and feelings to go for that goal, then for the most part, that lets you know that you're in a new space. And if you're still excited for that purpose, then that means you're on the right path still. But other than that, you need to go back to these early memories in order for you to understand your first excitement forms so you can remember your purpose. Otherwise, you reach your purpose, but not being in the same space you was in, you're gonna be misaligned and your purpose is not gonna be excited anymore. And it's then, once it's not exciting anymore, it no longer becomes your purpose. And once it's not your purpose, you're not marrying to anything anymore, and now you're gonna feel like, what is the purpose to life? And you don't wanna be in no situation like that. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Eee.